Hi, this is Karen from Webshop Apps. Um, I'm going to show you shipping override today and how to do a really basic setup of it. Um, the idea we're trying to do here is we've got these books and what we want to do is give free shipping for these. Um, okay, so the first thing to do is to set up your shipping group uh, attribute. So we're going to manage attributes. Um, that's fine. And then you want special shipping group. We add in the option for this. We we'll just call it books. Save the attribute. Now, if you're using this with different attribute sets apart from default, please make sure that you add special shipping group to your other attribute sets that you want to use it in, because otherwise you won't see it in the product listing. Okay, so we'll we'll go back now and manage the products again. We've got this attribute because we need to assign it. Let's pick up books. And this is really so that the extension can recognise what to do. This shipping chat, yeah, if you don't see it, that's because you've not got a special shipping group in your attributes set. So that's books. I'll cover shipping price in a separate tutorial. Really, shipping price is about if you just want to put a flat rate price against the books that always applies, then you put it there, like a sort of almost like a handling fee. Um, Let's just rebuild our index. Just asking for that. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is have a look and see what method you want to override. Now we want to override the ground shipping. So what I've got here is I've got books in the cart, and I've done a quick sort of get a quote, and th this is what's being returned. It's important you look at this before the extension switched on. So what we're trying to match on here is the ground one. At the moment that's showing 971. We want that to show zero when books are in the car. Okay, so that's now working. So now we need a CSV file. So let's just go in here. Um, we'll get this. Just take anyone really. Copy it. Uh, let's call it test one. Okay. Here we go. Right, so we've got this CSV file and just needs to change it now. So we want this for uh, USA only. Uh, shipping group is books, which is exactly the same as what we entered in the attribute group. Let's see if all the rest of them the same. Shipping price we want to be zero, so we want free shipping. Now the delivery type, this is the really important one, the one people often get wrong. We need this to match exactly this. This is case sensitive as well, so just bear that in mind. So we put ground in there. Okay, and what we're saying is here we want it on order. Now you can do things like order, search uh, as order, you can put percentages and things like that, but we're just keeping it really simple. So we save this. Right, so that's the CSV file created. Let's go back in, configuration. What we're going to do now is upload the CSV file and switch on the extension. So it's in shipping settings because this is a controller extension. It's th it's not a shipping extension in its own right. It works with other shipping extensions. Change the settings to yes. Everything else just leave as the default for the time being. For most people, the, the switches won't apply. Okay, change configuration scope. And then we just need to grab that directory. Here we go. Save the configuration. What we should see now is that this, hopefully, when we do get a quote, there you go. So it's set to zero. But what makes shipping override really stand out is that. You can add another product in, like we've got this standard product here. Now what it will do is it will just charge your shipping on the standard product, not on the ground products as well. The, sorry, the free products as well. So if we look, the ground 971, and we could add in like 50 of these. so the weight's going to be pretty big. Still 971. That's the beauty of this extension. 